I just realized in the last video, I didn't really commit my changes. So let's go ahead and do that. But I don't want to just lump everything I did into one commit because I did a few things. So let's just run a quick git status. Okay, kind of got a lot going on here. So I want to do, I wonder if I even can break these out into multiple commits. I don't know if I actually can. Um, yeah, we'll just commit it all. It's all good. Because so many things overlap, like the fact that I installed tricks and then also added that field to the form, but I did other stuff with the form too, so I'm just gonna kind of lump it all together, so. Install tricks editor and create activities edit and activities update and other misc edits. But here here I can add some more detail. So I'll do set default date value to well, I'll just say that. So set default date value in form and what else did I do? That's not up here. Because one, one good, th uh, uh, when you're making a commit message, you want to sort of keep like the, the main message relatively short. And then if you need to add more context, you can do what I'm doing here and just like add some bullet points. So I set the default date value in the form. Um, make form style updates and oh I I created a helper to format duration okay that'll at least give me some context later if I have to like revert anything so when we last left off one of my concerns was like people can upload stuff and I want to prohibit that for now and just keep this to a simple WYSIWYG editor. So it looks like I can I can prevent someone from uploading things. Let's try that first. So tricks gives us this it makes a new event listener. So event listeners are like when you do uh, you know, document dot add event listener you know, load or like document dot event listener, click things like that. So when there is, when you're uploading a file, this event will get triggered and I can listen for that, I think on the document. And let me just see here, I'm gonna kind of break this out into a small little chunk here. So I'm just gonna go into application.js and the, what the first thing I'm gonna do is document dot add event listener and then before we even get too complicated let's just do an alert I always like to do things like this just to make sure like you know is this actually working and then if, it, if I can get this to pass if I can get this thing to trigger then I know I'm going in the right direction so we need to restart our app or actually we need to start our app we can restart it. Okay, so actually I wanna, let's get rid of this and let's do, what's going on here? Okay, so let's just upload this and we should get an alert message, hopefully. Yeah, okay, so that worked. So let's go and what do we wanna do here? We wanna prevent default. So I think I need to do, do I need to pass an event in here? I think we might need to pass the event. Let's just do this. So, cause we need to say like, what are we preventing the default on? So if I go back, oh, that's cool. So this is actually, you probably couldn't see that, but it refreshed in the background and that's because of Foreman. So let's get rid of this. And 
get this. Okay, so it's not there. Let's go ahead and upload it again. Cool. So it didn't actually do anything, which is good, right? So if we, let's try that again. So that's good. So now we just want to actually hide this button because it's not doing anything. So we'll go to our dev tools. I'll see if I can make this bigger. And what is this little guy called? So button group, file tools. Are there any other classes using this or elements using this? So we just want to hide that. So where can we do that? We have our style sheets here. Uh, let's go ahead and just do it here. So we can just do display none. I don't know why that's throwing a fit there. Media query expected. Okay, I think it was throwing a fit because I didn't have a semicolon at the end of this line, and then it um, was getting parsed oddly. But I'm noticing it's not actually hiding this button still, but I think it's because I need to actually make my CSS more specific and call it with tricks toolbar and then that class. And that worked. So this is good. Um, I think I'm actually going to go ahead and just commit this right now. So git status, git add, and then finally git commit. And then in here we'll just say prohibit prohibit file uploads via tricks. And we'll save that, get status, and we'll push that up. 